Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's talk about two common antiderivatives that pop up. One is the antiderivative of secant x dx, and the other one is cosecant x dx. But first, let's take a look at secant x. So <clears throat> this one's kind of funny because we're going to choose we're going to do u substitution, but we're not going to use a u that you even see. Secant x plus tangent x. Ah, uh -huh. well, the reason why, well, you'll see in the computation that things cancel very nicely with this choice. So you, there's, so what we can do is we replace dx with du over the derivative of this, which is secant x tangent x plus secant squared x. And notice if we factor out a secant x out of this, it'll cancel with that secant. So we'll be left with du over tangent x plus secant x. But wait, that is the same thing as u. So you can just replace it with u. And we get this. The antiderivative is natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. So we get natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c. Okay, now let's take a look at what this, at what we would get if we did cosecant. All right, so let's choose u to be cosecant x plus, tan, plus cotangent x. And if we do that, replace this with du over negative cosecant x cotangent x minus cosecant squared x. You can factor out a cosecant and that'll cancel with that cosecant. And you'll simply be left with um, du over negative quantity cotangent x um, plus cosecant x, which happens to be u. So this really looks like negative integral of du over u, which is negative natural log absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x plus c. Thanks for watching.